Levine Gamina. And I'm making this film because I've suffered with a bipolar disorder all my life. And I'm better now. I'm in excellent health. But there was an intervention called EMDR, Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. And after 23 hospitalizations, and 10 ECT treatments known on the street as shock therapy. Group home, suicide attempts, lots of medication, different medications. I underwent EMDR. It stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. After two and a half years of that therapy, my symptoms are gone. And I live a healthy, happy life. I'm active, I'm engaged, I still do theater, I still teach, and I want to endorse that therapy for anyone who is suffering as I did. It's an option, a healthy option. The EMDR therapy uses bilateral stimulation, right-left eye movement or tactile stimulation, or sound, which repeatedly activates opposite sides of the brain, releasing emotional experiences that are trapped in the nervous system. This assists the neurophysiological system, the basis of the mind-body connection, to free itself of blockages and reconnect with itself. When disturbing experiences happen, they're stored in the brain with all the sights, sounds, thoughts, and feelings that accompany it. The EMDR therapy does two very important things. First, it unlocks the negative memories and emotions stored in the nervous system. And second, it helps the brain to successfully process the experience. Long-term studies consistently show that treatment with EMDR results in elimination of the targeted emotion. The memory remains, but the negative response is neutralized. It's 2007. I'm sitting in my psychotherapist's office getting ready to undergo our 12th EMDR session. Okay, now keep the event in your mind. Find the Although there are many methods for bilateral stimulation of the brain, Valerie taps my knees rhythmically. I locate the sensations and surfacing the in my body. That are surfacing. Negative beliefs and messages concurrently. Withdrawing from the current surrounding, I wait. My head is hung low. I wait. It is very dark. The memory from my deep past is surfacing. Slipping away, I am surrounded by images and pain. An impulse jerks me forward, oh, hits I don't me. Go. It comes seemingly from within without my initiation. It just leaps into play, and I start to kick and scream. According to the message I have retained all these years, I sob uncontrollably. I okay. kick the floor and punch the couch, muffling my okay. screams into the pillow. I am expressive and physical, unlike those patients who are more quiet and withdrawn. That was hard. I release and reprocess this memory as the person I am today, freeing the anger, humiliation, and fear that originated in my childhood. The okay. self-perceptions that have crippled okay. me. This continues until I am empty. Good, because messages came up and uh, I, I got angry. I uh, I fought fought back. I I said no, no, I wasn't going to do it, and I remember not wanting to go in, but she made me go in, and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I wasn't ready. I was eight, seven. 
And now I'm, I'm just angry. <laughs> Sad and angry. And she did that to me. Afterward, as I cooled down for about 20 minutes, we chat about simple things, pass the time comfortably. Then I'm ready to drive home. Another EMDR session concluded. Another step closer to healing. Laura worked hard and she made remarkable progress. I've never been healthy and I've never been happy. I'm happy and healthy in spirit, mind, body. I took a long walk today with my dog. We went all the way up the hill and down. He got tired and wanted water. He started sipping out of a puddle. He was so tired out. So was I, but it felt great. And I make a drink every day, I'll show you, with fresh fruit and vegetables because when I'm hungry, I don't think kale or apple. I usually think something different. Not sugar, I'm off of sugar. Yes, I'm healthy and I'm happy and I'm content and have peace of mind. Well, it does take managing, first with medication and um, that's how you treat mental illnesses with chemicals. I don't like putting them in my body, but they stabilize my chemistry. Mental illness is an imbalance of the chemistry in your brain, the dopamine, the serotonin, the adrenaline. It's a physical illness, just like cancer. It's not psychological and mysterious. It's physical. Anyway, I manage it with meds. I've taken the same ones for about eight or 10 years. They call it a cocktail because there's quite a few. I don't eat crap, I don't eat processed food, I don't eat canned food, I don't eat cardboard food, I don't eat greasy food, I don't eat fried food. I eat fresh fruits and vegetables, no red meat, sometimes chicken when I can afford it. I'm poor. And I also don't stay in highly stimulating places for very long. An amusement park or an overwhelmingly loud, busy location where I can't screen it out because I'm observant. I'm a director, I direct plays, and, and all the stimulus comes at me, it bombards me, it attacks me, and I need to limit it. You're in so much pain. You have to let go and get out. You gotta get out. It's all you can think of. You're in so much pain, you want out of it. You don't, you're not thinking consequences. You're not thinking, what else should I do? Whom should I speak? With whom should I speak? Or where can I go? Or should I make a phone call? You just want out. You want it to end. You just want it to end and you take pills. You go to sleep and that's it. It's very inviting and very alluring. I'm raising money <laughs> to make this film. I've been successful. I see my friends who go geocaching. And I work in plays and I direct and I teach. And I have a workshop that I teach here. I have four clients right now. It's improvisation to overcome social anxiety or social phobia. And we act out through improv and role playing different scenes that occur in real life. And we practice the language skills. We look at for clues, how to draw somebody out, how to make the other person feel good. What about them? I don't have a family. I have a cousin in Arizona. I love him dearly, but we speak rarely. And my sister and parents are deceased. My brother and I 
speak on the phone occasionally. He lives in North Carolina. I have no cousins except my one, no nieces, nephews, children, parents. So I choose my friends. I'm Laura Levine Gamina. I'm 65 years old and independent, but I haven't always been and I haven't always been happy. I haven't always had peace of mind. I haven't always had contentment. I'm making this film because I suffered with a bipolar disorder since the age of 20 and I'm 65 now. I was hospitalized 23 times and initially in the 70s, the hospital visits sometimes for five, six weeks. They were horrible and dreadful, and the medication was in the dark ages. Your speech was slurred, your eyes were blurry, you shuffled around. If anything, that medication made you feel more incapable, more sick, more disabled. You couldn't walk straight. It was a heavy duty medication. But that didn't subsided. The medication got better near the end of the 80s. The medication got better with the emergence of SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So our medication now is set and it works. But the greatest intervention that cured me of symptoms was called EMDR, Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. I'm making this film to endorse that therapy. Because it's the only thing I had my whole life, of years and years, lifelong therapy processes that never worked. EMDR with trained therapist cured me of symptoms over the course of two and a half years. And allowed me, freed me of a crippling disorder, freed me of messages I told myself of being not adequate, not good enough, ugly, bad. These are things that originated in my childhood that I emptied through this process. I cleared myself out. And now I live a happy life. I never knew life could be like this. I'm independent. I'm engaged. I still do theater. I did theater, directing and performing and teaching. I have a teaching degree. I earned a teaching degree by the age of 37. But I was so unhappy and so afraid of everything. I've overcome. And for those who are suffering like I did, we don't all know that there's an option like EMDR because many therapists in the Midwest especially are just learning this technique. In Michigan alone, there's only about 900 therapists who are trained in EMDR. We need to promote this therapy. We need to make it known as a viable option, as a good choice choice towards recovery, towards good health. And I hope this film, through demonstrating the EMR session, the EMDR session, listening to me, someone, just one person is convinced to undergo this technique. That's what I hope.